Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I thought I'd do a quick video showing how to use stencils and tattered angels to make what I called my version of dyed papers. Instead of coffee dyeing or tea dyeing papers, I like to use tattered angels to color plain papers. So I'm going to use the February Artistic Stencil Club to create a few painted pages. In the Artistic Stencil Club, you get three stencil designs. You get an all-over stencil design, like this one is flowers. This all-over stencil design looks like large lattice. And then this stencil design is two different designs, flowers on either side. So let's use some of these to create a couple of painted pages. So to start with, I'm going to lay into a box. You can use your normal work surface, however you want to do it. I'm doing it in a box so that I don't get spray all over my desk. It helps contain it into one spot. I just happened to find this box. It was a perfume bottle box, a gift or something that was given to me. So I'm going to take this and put it inside the box and just grab a Tattered Angels. So in this case, I've got the Teal Rose from the Enchanted Rose Kit. I make sure to shake it up because there's mica in the bottom and then I'm going to spray this all over and then I'll grab another sheet of paper and lay this on top of the stencil and then I'll press the paper to the stencil and that'll mop up the ink or paint that's on top of the stencil. I like to go ahead and spray the back so that when I'm ready to use this in my journal, it already has a little bit of color on it. That way, if I want to add some more stenciling, I can, but I've got a little bit of a base color in the background. So when I take up the mop-up page, this is what you get. Isn't that cool, that pattern? And then when I remove the stencil, here's the pattern that you get on this page. And again, I'll go ahead and pray, spray the back side. That way it's already done and I have it ready to set aside. All right, so let's do the next one. This time I've got the flowers and I've got the lavender rose tattered angels. I'm gonna shake that up really well, make sure that mica is up in there and I'll spray this all over. And I decided that I want to pick up a little bit of the pink. So I'm gonna grab this pink rose blush and shake it up and then just add a little pink here and there. I'm just using standard copy paper. If you do tea dye or coffee dye, you can also do the same technique on those coffee and tea dyed pages just to add another layer of color and pattern. All right, so I'll spray the backside a little bit. So there's our mop up page. I like mixing the colors, you get some deeper hues in there. Isn't that gorgeous? And here's going through the stencil. And again, I'll flip this over and spray the backside a little. All right, so this time I've got the split screen or split stencil, and I'm going to grab two different colors here. I've got the vanilla rose and the rose pink. So I'll just come down this side, and then I'll use this one over here. And again, I'll spray the back. And there's our mop-up page. And those gorgeous. I love this pearlescent. Here's the sprayed through page. We'll just spray the back side a little bit, like so. I didn't use the green today, but we will at another time, but I'll recap what these pages look like here using the stencils. So there is the last stencil we just did. Here's with the lavender rose and a little bit of that pink added together. So you get that page. And then here is the lattice page with that beautiful shade of teal. So as you can see, you have some beautiful pages that you can start with that you can lay down as your foundation, fold these in half, and then start decorating them to your heart's content to put in your journal. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a quick way to use stencils and tattered angels to make your dyed papers. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate your support. Do give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment below if you have any comments, and do check in the description box for links to the products that I showed today. Y'all have a, fa a fabulous day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody.